bro, that's shit. Good morning, good morning. We're getting ride number two in for the new year. I'm parked at Shamel Park, basically along the coast. We went to visit some spots in Big Sur and we're staying at a hotel that's like right along the beach. And this park is basically like five minutes away from where we're staying. I just wanted to get a ride in before uh, we head back home. We've been traveling quite a bit. We've gone to Dublin, California, Napa Valley, Yosemite and Big Sur. So the adventures have been good and I think I wanna get one last ride in before we head home. The place I believe we're gonna go explore is called Fiscalini Ranch Preserve. It's nothing crazy. I'm not expecting anything gnarly like downhill riding, but we're still gonna make the best out of it. This wind will definitely wake you up. Check this out. Like I was saying earlier, I don't think there's a bunch of gnarly trails. I think you definitely get a beautiful view, which is also nice, you know? Let's see where this trail takes us. Oh man. So I just spoke to that gentleman there. His name's John. He said he's been here for like five years and his wife has been here for 15 years. He says he walks it every single morning and he says it never gets old, like every single day. The tide is different, the colors are different. So I told him that's a pretty nice way to start your morning. You know, you get an epic ocean view and then you get on with your day. It's pretty rad. Really cool dude. He said he, he, he's been here for a while and he doesn't plan on leaving. So I don't blame him. We're a good ways up. You get a nice view of the mountains and then the beach right behind us it looks like there's a trail this way dude there's like poison oak all over here this is right there you know when i do these rides or when i go explore by myself in my head I'm always thinking like, oh crap, what if something goes wrong? What if I get hurt? What if I get, you know, what if I'm in trouble? The other part of me is always like seeking that adventure, trying to find new places to explore and just visit. So it's like just me battling myself as to whether or not I should do something and shouldn't do something. That's just what goes on through my head. But I've always wondered if it's just me or it happens to other people because I know my girlfriend, she's the complete opposite. Like if she's scared or something or second guesses something, she's not even gonna bother to, to go explore it, to, to go visit it. Whereas me, I do have that second guessing in my head, but I'm also curious to see what it is or what, what lies ahead. At the end of the day, um, as long as you have respect for mother nature and everything that lives within it, you should be okay. Obviously don't go wandering where you're not supposed to because if these signs didn't say poison oak on them who knows how many people would be wandering past these fences and things like that so i just think what helps me or what allows me to explore is just respecting the animals the trees everything because i'm not educated enough to know where i'm not supposed to be walking and where i can be walking so i tend to just stay on the trails and try not to wander too far but that doesn't stop me from having fun, you know. I think it's important to to explore and to experience nature. It's such a beautiful, beautiful thing to see. But let's continue on this adventure. Ah, check out this little section. My guess is all these logs that you see right here came from this tree. I wanna try to get something on these logs. I don't know if it'll work, but I wanna try it. How are you? <laughs> See you later. 
for this place, we're gonna continue on. These roots are really fun to hop. <laughs> like this. Ooh. This is a very like scenic trail. Oh, that was fun. Ladies and gents, we're gonna head back to the car and get all our things packed. We got a we got a four hour road trip back to LA. This place was beautiful, man. Like there wasn't that crazy of trails, but nonetheless, it was beautiful. We got a bit of descending to get down this mountain and then uh, smooth sailing to the parking lot, basically. Definitely very muddy. I was about to head out, but then I looked to my left and I saw how beautiful the ocean looked while the sun was out and I really just wanted to view it like it, it's just insane the guy's right it's it's always changing it's always different so I feel like you can never get tired of this view I mean check that out right on the edge Alright, now this time I'm actually going to head out. <laughs> Back. A nice black cherry sparkling water to finish the ride. This one's from Whole Foods. It's pretty bomb. So let's recap on today's ride. It wasn't that intense in regards to like rocky downhill riding, but it was so beautiful, man. Like I had to force myself to get out of there because I just kept constantly getting distracted at like all the scenery. I was about to not go on that ride this morning because I, I was thinking like, we can leave here early and we can get to LA early and then I can get a ride near that area, near LA. And then I also thought to myself, like I can ride any of those trails whenever I want, right? Like any day of the week. I'm only here for one day. So I wanted to take advantage of the time that I had here. So I figured I'll just wake up early, go out and ride and it was for sure worth it. Like, I'm I'm really happy I did it. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and coming along with me on my adventure. I had a lot of fun filming and writing it, and we'll see when we get to do another trip like this. I definitely wanna keep exploring and bringing my bike along and just seeing what else I can ride. That's gonna wrap up this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.